I'm just saying, when you go to uni, where there's probably going to be quite a few drinking games. I don't know. I've got a meeting tomorrow with the man that could end up being my support worker at uni. We just give them what they're expecting and sign on for dotted line. Go on then. I suppose I better get some practice in before I step into the firing line. Whoa. It's not time for college already. Too exciting and nothing too brave is all that I could really do at that age. When did you get here? You just walked past me. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, we are drinking last night. I had a couple with my brother. Ah, I only know two things. One, that is going to be your best mate. And two, you'll fit right in here. So, you want to come to uni? I was thinking about it. I was thinking I might take a gap year. Gap year? I took a gap year. Mate, would you mind not lying down in our goal? You have got the whole bloody... Don't suppose you know how many euros to a pound there is, do you, mate? Hey, Who do you think you are, mate? France? Right, there's an old guy with socks over there, a young family down by the pier there, this is England, mate. Ah. Must have uh, overslept and got a ferry back. Still, it wasn't a bad holiday. Anyway, where do you think you're, you're going to gap here, if you don't mind me asking? I've got a few ideas, really. I was thinking maybe I could start off in... Well... well are you really passionate about ICT? Do you genuinely, genuinely enjoy it? Yeah, I spend all day on the computer. Well, I suppose we're all guilty of Facebooking on the toilet every now and again. How much of a party guy do you think you'll be? Not much of one. Trust me, you'll do fine here. I mean, if I can become a fourth year psychology student sidelining as a support worker, anything can happen. It's not just that. There's another reason why I don't think uni's for me. What's that? I'm afraid that I'm afraid I won't be able to go to uni because of my my Asperger syndrome. Asperger syndrome? Never heard of it. Still, we had one guy coming in a few years back, uh, Harry Shaughnahan, dyslexic to boot. I mean, this poor beggar couldn't even spell his own name. And now I hear that he's writing his own self-help book. Although the proofreading costs are still through the roof. Tell you what, if you change your mind, here's my number. Chances are I'll be around here for the next four years anyway. So if I can make sure you get all the support you need and hook you up with all the easiest girls, yeah? Yeah, cheers. So, did Mum tell you? What? Sarah's moving in if she accepts. Mum would greet it before we went to uni. But your room's right next to... Why hasn't Mum asked me about this? I'm sure she's going to get round to it. I feel like I'm being pushed out of this place. You've been lucky staying here for so long. I mean, no job for at college. You know how much time Mum's given up to help you out? No. I think for this family it'd be good if you did go to uni. Shit. 
shadows fly and I hear them sing to a crowded rhythm as light streams in, no one's backing down, cause they're born again to the morning sun. Dust settles down Blue, she's waving at me through glass And breeze is teaching the treetops to dance With the freedom they found With the freedom they found They are born again to the morning sun Found it. Well, how you doing, my man? Good. Good enough. Excellent. Well, I found you some good student accommodation. Do you want to go see? Yeah, can't wait. Excellent. Now, let me tell you about the warning signs of STDs. And that is why you should never sleep with girls called Stacy. So, yeah, don't worry about this. Uh, basically, what's happening is just gutting all the houses at the minute, getting rid of all the asbestos. Yours is done last week, so no need to worry. This is you. What do you think, mate? What's it like inside? Better than the outside, let me assure you. I mean, you know, just lick a paint. Yeah, I see. Lick a paint. Probably redo that window, I suppose. Lick a paint. That, that's lead based, but we can ignore that bit. Uh, anything else? Uh, which room's mine? Well, on that, you're the third to arrive, so you've got a choice of two. Yeah, mate, I'm sorry I can't come with you, mate. I've got to dash off. I've got to see a girl about a movie, yeah? Enjoy yourself, and if you need me, you know what to get me, yeah? Thanks for all the good times. You've done me well. Thanks for all the help with those long, late study sessions. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's time I moved on to some stronger stuff. It's university. I can't go through university drinking you. I'm sorry. I will miss you. Come here, baby. No. It's not fun drinking like this. It's fresh as week. I've got to get a group together. I can't drink alone tonight. Guess where I am? I'm in the kitchen of my new house. Seems like it's quarter to six at all times in this house. He's made his bed with, well, personality. I think we get my house back up. I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye. Hi, I'm Michael. Callum. So, how long have you been here? Looks like you've been here a while. I've been here a day, actually, so far. So you coming out tonight? Yeah, sure. Hi. Well, you're not going to bail on me, are you? And what? And drink. No, never. 
have to warn you. I may have to cut Fresh's week short. My brother could be getting engaged. What? How can you? Fresh is like once in a lifetime. It's like the Apollo landing on the moon. Yeah, I'm sure Armstrong said, I'm sorry, NASA. I can't do it. It's Fresh's week. I have to land on the moon some other time. This Fresh's week needs to be lived to the max. You might get it in your second year, but it's your first year that you properly enjoy freshers. Like I said, I may miss it. All I know is that he's going to be proposing. Where's he going to propose? McDonald's? Joking. I think he's taken her to the first place that they went for a date. Madame Two Swords? No, I'm not joking. Best of luck to him. As long as it doesn't stop him getting to the pub, eh? So what do you think that the girls that we're going to be sharing a house with are going to be like? I have no idea. Isn't Stacy? So you're free to go out tonight. Me? No. Tonight I have a date with the forest. Ah, so what's your name? Poppy. And how long have you been here? Don't you remember me from yesterday? I have trouble remembering things from a few hours ago. <laughs> I came here last night. Hi Nick, I'm outside the house. I really don't think I can go in. It's too scary. I don't have your strength, man. I need a spliff, really, but I can't. I really want to. But then I'll get sketching and I really don't like it when that happens. So, you want to go out tonight? Sorry, I don't drink. Yeah, you do. What's that? Yep. An alcoholic drink. It's my clever disguise. Anyway. Why did you want to go out tonight? Is there some sort of study night on? Are you going to drink a maximum of three drinks? Or did you just want to have a look around the town to see where the library is? <laughs> Neither. No. Thinking we're going to a nightclub? Oh. Right. Sure. I I've just met them. No, I, I haven't said hi yet. What are they like? They seem really nice. And I get to know them. Anyway, that can wait. Tell me about this girl you met last weekend. Gonna buy her a wedding ring? I'm so impressed by you. I can never make that kind of commitment. I can't even get into a relationship. <laughs> mm. So what about you, Poppy? Do you go clubbing? <laughs> it's not really my thing. Braving's more like it. I'm not sure whether there's that much raving in Portsmouth. It's okay, I've got that covered. Anyway, I'm trying to get hold of my boyfriend. I might as 
me. This really does suck. What does? Only one other person wants to come out. Back home, I could just summon people to go out. There's this one guy that was like a lapdog. I could just call him up, mention the word drink, and he'd locate where you were. <laughs> Why don't you give him a call? I probably could. He'd probably come as well. Uh, we need to get the girls interested. Are you sure we could achieve that? Yes. I think we can. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, oh yes, we, we can. can. Come in. There you go. Hi. Oh, so you're a fan of the white stuff? Oh, um, no, I wouldn't say fan. I was wondering whether you wanted to come out tonight. I'll buy you a drink. You know, you can get some more if you come out tonight. No, thank you. It's really nice of you, but I'm worried about money. Are you sure? I mean, it's not good to run out. I know firsthand. Oh, come on, you can't worry about money at uni. At least not in your first few weeks. Look, I'm good. Thanks for looking out for me, but I'm trying to live without it for a while, and I'm waiting for a phone call. Sorry, I just had a really tiring day. Beauty sleep is something, me. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Looks like it's gonna be a guy's night out. I learned something back at home. There's only a few people you can really rely on to have a good night out with. And then there's the others that will always think twice. Pedals? That's some tough shit right there. <laughs> you know, we could get a bit more drunk, and, you know, clubs are expensive. Have you ever played Cookie Jar? Um, no. At home, the cookie jar's where my mum keeps the pennies that she's collected. Well, it's a good way to get drunk. And we've got a lot of vodka. Come on. Who stole a cookie from the cookie jar? Michael stole a cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you! Couldn't have been. Oh, Michael! Oh, not wait. again! You wait, you have to wait. Well, go on, drink up. Oh, this drink is utter. <sighs> Ugh. You know, this game is really boring with just two people. Well, I don't say that. I thought it was pretty exciting, really. <sighs> My boyfriend is pathetic! Mm. Ugh, he still hasn't phoned me back. You know, the whole time I've known him, I've actually got to know his housemates like far better than I've ever got to know him. Anyway, uh, what are you doing? Cookie jar. Cookie jar? Isn't that where you put your pennies? What? No! J just sit down. I'll teach you how to play. Okay. Yeah. Please do sit down. We need all the players we can get for this. <sighs> right. Okay, the rules of cookie jar are pretty... Looks like water now. Easy. Must someone else interrupt us from playing cookie jar and me losing even more? Hey Amy, you wanna play? What are you playing? Cookie jar. It's not a thing you put coins into. It's a drinking game. That's the wonders of cookie jar. The one game to rule them all. Ah, oh, I've heard of these. Okay, I'll lose my drinking game virginity. Better sooner than later. We drink water, don't we? Where did you hear about drinking games? India? Yes. This is water. Yeah. Okay. Let's drink. Who stole a cookie from a cookie jar? Amy stole a cookie from a cookie jar. Go on, girls! Get it out! Oh, wait, wait, what's the time? What's the time? Ten past ten. Good time to go out now? I think so, pedal, puppy. Well, my boyfriend's deserted me, so I think I will. How about you, Amy? How many people will be there? Thousands. Wow, that should be a good contribution to my Facebook list. So, you coming? Yeah, I can't miss an opportunity like this. As long as the guys stay away from me. What about me? You can have as many guys as you like. <laughs> <laughs> but you can stay within the five feet radius of me. 
Any on that for one more round? Yeah, sure. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? No matter how much you want to hold on to the past, your past friendships, your past habits, your past boyfriends, there's one thing that's inevitable when you move from college to university. Change. It may be in the most monumental of ways. To simply carry us through. But when you change, you come out of it for the better. Even if it's not obvious yet. You can't forget about the little things that mean so much to me and you. Tomorrow comes and soon it's gone. Do we really need a new direction? You say you'll never walk away from this again, you say. You're never gonna walk away from this again, you say Only when you feel the pressure Can we hold on to the past And hope the future is cast As much the same and easy game For many years, no sign of apprehension You can't let go of all the little things But all together, me and you so you're telling me that you asked the taxi to wait outside so he could go to your room to grab the fare? And just so he could trust you, you gave him your phone? What happened next? The idiot taxi driver drove up by the time I got back with my money. Not at all predictable. <laughs> okay. I miss you, soft drink. Okay, well, thanks, Dad. I'll speak to you later. My brother's girlfriend said yes. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Said so yes to what? To alcohol? I'm not sure I'd say yes to that right now. His engagement party is going to be this weekend. The whole family's going to be there. But it's start of Freshers' week. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give Freshers a miss this year. But it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And seeing my brother's engagement isn't. It's not going to be as fun the second year. Look, I'm sorry, but seeing my brother's girlfriend promise her life away to the doomsday which is my brother, it's a must-see event. Stay here for freshers. Poppy, can you get him another glass of water, please? I remember, I remember where you'd sit I remember, I remember what I did that night I had to What's the bag? My brother rang. He's got engaged. What? Really? That's amazing. Not so much for his girlfriend. How long will you be away for? Long enough to miss Freshers' Week. But enough time to get a good stint of Call of Duty in. I know, but my whole family's going to be there this weekend. I can't miss it. 
It's just starting to feel settled here as well. I've <laughs> only been here a day. Well, enjoy your brother's engagement party. Avoid the cookie jar. <laughs> and check out the maid of honor for me. <laughs> Never been into cliches before. Anyway, I'll see you soon. It'll be your engagement party someday. Something so strong, so soon. 